like healthy food that tastes so good. I like to eat good food. What you say now? I like to eat good food. I like to eat good food. Welcome to Creative Cooking with THS, the, the Home Sisters. Sisters. I'm Janeth. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Taisha. And we love creative cooking. It's basically plant-based nutrition to transform our lives. That's right. And we all can benefit from adding more veggies, yes. fruits, yes. nuts, mm -hmm. and grains to our diet, can't That's we? Right, yes, yeah. we can. Now, this is really exciting mm -hmm. because today we are going to cook Soul food. Soul, soul food, all right. Yeah. Soul food, mm -hmm. cooked by soul, soul sisters. sisters. <laughs> soul sisters, known as the home sisters. sisters. All we right, just so. love soul food. We love soul food. <laughs> and you know, food. it's the soul is a very important part of the body because we serve a God who wants our body, our mind, mind and, and our, our soul. That's so right. listen, it's all about the soul That's today. Right. Soul. Right. So what soul do we have? Soul. What are we making today, Jim? Well, we're gonna make some mac and cheese. That's right. We're gonna make some collard, collard greens. Green. Collard greens. But you know what? They're, they're, what are some other comfort foods? Soul food is like comfort food, right? right? Yeah. And, right. and there's so many different comfort foods in the black community, and some of them are like what? Cornbread. Cornbread. Uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, black eyes. Black eyes. Right. Sweet potato pie, right. sweet potato casserole. That's right. Oh, what else? Ooh, cabbage, peach cobbler, up cabbage, up cabbage. Ooh, mm -hmm. turnip greens. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Just so we just mustard see. greens. Well, I mean, what do we do? We cook up a big meal, sit around a table, and That's just right. talk and have a good, good time, time and reminisce right. and. Oh boy, we have a good time we have a over some soul time. food, right? So that's right. So your mac and cheese, Jan. Mm -hmm. So uh, what does it have? Nuts in it, like cashews? Because I know well, there, the there, one there are a lot of creative ways. That's right. There are a lot it, of crea but... creative ways to make mac and cheese. Uh -huh. Today, mac and cheese is nut free. All nut right. Nut free. Nut free. How, nut free. Now, now you do that. Usually, usually... They're, 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 you can make mac and cheese with cashews. Mm -hmm. So you make like a cashew cream sauce. Mm -hmm. But today, we're just going to use potato, carrots. The carrots will give it the color. And um, it's nut free. Onions. We don't need the nuts. For cheese? We have the onions. We have the potato, which will bind it. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait, the wait, wait, wait. people are asking, Jan, uh, they're very curious and mm -hmm. want to know, how can you make cheese out of potatoes and carrots? And onions. We're going to see. We're going to see that today. We will see that today. All okay. right. So people that are sensitive to nuts, you know, nut allergies That's and things true. like that. That's the, this, yeah. this There's another is, option. There's another way. All right. Well, right. let's call for the recipe ingredients, So let's call for the recipe. One pound of elbow macaroni, two medium potatoes peeled and diced, two medium carrot, one medium onion chopped, one cup of unsweetened non-dairy milk, one cup of non-dairy sour cream, one and a half cup of water, three teaspoons of salt, a half teaspoon of smoked paprika, one cup of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice, three cups of vegan cheddar cheese shredded. Mmm. Mm. Okay, Jan. Right. That so, sounds so, good. So I'm curious, and I'm sure a lot of our viewers are curious to know about this potato and carrot and onion concoction this, that going this, on this, here. This potato and carrot cheese? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very simple. All right, so. You have to first boil, get the potatoes boiling. We have some boiling over here. So we have some So you put the potatoes, here. you cut up the potatoes, the onions, and the carrot. Mm -hmm. Let's see, is it steaming already? Give it All a right, good, oh, it looks like it's, it's almost nice there. ready. It's boiling. Okay. And you just want it to boil up and become very tender. Nice and soft. That's right, nice and soft. And the carrots will help to give it that yellow, orangey, color of the cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll stick okay, nice so how is that? Is that ready? It's yeah. soft. Our ready to go, Jan. Our potatoes seem like they're ready to go. They're nice Ready to go. Soft. Okay, so we're going to put Onions the blender just... right here and we're going to blend that up. You can pour so that. are we going to throw it all in here with we the... We put it all the, in the blender. With the liquid? With the liquid. Yeah, you can put the liquid. Not okay. much. Try to get more of the vegetables out. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Okay, so we all put right. that in the blender and then we add... Soft. 
our yeast flakes. Okay. And that gives it that cheesy taste. It's yellow and it gives, it, gives it, it a nice, nice cheesy, cheesy flavor. taste. We add our sour cream. Okay. And the sour cream, all of this creates that nice cream for the cheese. Creamy moist. And you can also, now we're using shredded cheese. You can see that right here. We're using shredded cheese. What kind of? But you can also, this is shredded vegan cheese, but you can also use block cheese. If you like crunchy, your, not crunchy, but like more thick, a thick, a, a thick consistency of your mac and so cheese. This is a, like a daya or this is a daya, a daya, vegan, vegan daya. That you can get it. But they also have it as a chunk, mm -hmm. so you can chunk them up if you don't want to shred it, and then you'll have a little bit. So do we throw the cheese in here? Throw the cheese oh. right on. But in. we don't have to use this cheese, right? You can Pam? use any it's kind optional. of vegan cheese okay. you like. And then we put our paprika. Oh, so it's just. We pour kind of in putting everything in the blender. Salt. That's right. You pour everything in there. All right. Lemon juice. Okay. And we have some milk, unsweetened. We don't want vanilla mac and cheese. No, we don't. <laughs> so, Jan, for our viewers who are very far away in other countries, they don't have access to Daya cheese or Follow Your Heart. What would you suggest? Well, they can make the nut cheese with the cashews. Okay. Or if they have a nut allergy, they don't even have to use this. They could just use the potatoes. That's right. Right. Use the onions. Yes. Mm -hmm. And use the carrots because the carrot, the beta teen in the carrot is what's going to give it that nice right. golden color and color. flavor. Right. And, and yes. that flavor. And, and then, then the yeast flakes, yeast flakes, flakes yes, will give it that cheesy flavor right. and kind of bring it in. So right. you really don't need to. You don't it's need optional. to use that. Right. And it makes it very, very rich yes. this right. day. So you don't need it. It is, it is optional, but it right. just makes a rich, rich And mac we and love cheese. to have a rich, All right, creamy so we're going to put that up here. And we're going to give that a nice blend. So should I move these up? And now, we need this? while this is blended, uh -huh. we should have our noodles boiling. Yes, they are. They should be nice and tender yes, they and are. ready. And Kim, you can get our pan that we're going to pour the noodles in once they're drained. OK. So we're going to so blend up use our cheese sauce. Holy And then we're just going to make sure that everything is nicely blended. Wow, look at that. We'll color. do another nice. 30 seconds. Can you get that? That looks nice. It looks creamy. like Kraft macaroni and I cheese. Tell you yeah, remember that does. box Kraft macaroni Let's and cheese? Let's try that again. Texture. <laughs> okay. So mm -hmm. now. We're going to, I think we just have stir it just a little bit. Stir it first. Yeah, because I think I saw a little potato okay. trying to hang out over here. I'm not <laughs> but you can, like, make you know, sure you look nothing. at it and you want to make sure everything is kind of blended up. Blended okay. up well. Potatoes uh, so can we'll be stubborn because more. it has a start, so it kind of That's will right. hang onto the walls. <laughs> Okay. Right. All right. So All right. now we're going to drain those noodles. Are they All nice right. and They're nice and, and ready. And you can okay. use any type of noodles you That's use. That's right. You can use spelt noodles. You can use whole wheat noodles. Gluten-free noodles. Gluten-free noodles. Whatever kind of noodles you like. Corn noodles. And we just have them. You just make sure they're nice and tender. And then we're going to pour them. Okay. We'll keep them in the pot to make the mixture. All right. So I'll just put it back in the pot. Put them back in the pot. And then we'll, that's the last one. That's right. So we're going to get our cheese sauce ready to just pour okay. on there. So while the macaroni okay, is nice and hot. While it's nice and hot, oh, yeah. we're just going to pour on some cheese uh -huh. sauce. And we have mix a little it. bit of extra shredded cheese here that we're going right. to mix in with Woo! that. Okay, stop. That Let's looks get like, that in there. Okay, that looks that. like Drop that Bell in. And one moment. Just yes, it does look like Bell Vita. Around. That's right. Okay, and that. Let's get that in. Okay. Well, is this, is this red light, green light? Red One, light, two, green three. light. You, and we're going to leave a little bit for the top, so okay. you can hold that right in there. Let's just That's get this bit. in there. So we're pouring in our shredded vegan cheese. And then, like I said before, you can also cube it if you want what chunky. Beautiful golden mac and color. Cheese. Ooh, it smells good, too. It smells oh. good. So we pour that right in. And then put it where? And then here's the pan. We're going to. Now, can we eat it like this, Jan? Is oh, that you can possible? Eat it like that. Yes, yes, you can. As a matter so of fact, so why don't we just try like that right that now? Because yeah. I think I'd, if we're not using viewers, that again. If you like your mac and cheese just creamy, cream and it doesn't have to I'll be baked, you can right just here. stop right, right here. Here we go. Just keep it cooking on warm, just so that the shredded cheese can melt fully, 
And right here, you can have creamy mac and cheese. Let me try some. We're gonna take it one step further and we're gonna and bake, bake it, it but, mm. but if you like you it can creamy, stop it good. right here if you want to. That's where you can stop. Right All right there. now. Right? I right. I, I'd want some more, but I will so stop. So now do we okay. <laughs> pour it in the so pan? So then we pour it right here. We have a pan. So this is a smaller pan. We're not gonna use the whole just pull it out. amount that we made. So we just pour it right on in there. And you can see the cheese is stretching. The cheese is melting, gooey, and you can see ooh. that stretch. And that golden yellow that's color. Right, and that should be enough for this pan. Yeah. So if you have extra, you can place, you can Let's put it in a, a big bit. baking you don't dish. Cover and then the you top. always save a little bit of cheese just for the top. And I At like to end. bake it first for a good 30 minutes. And once you place it in the oven for 30 minutes at 375, preheated, then you take it out and you put a little bit more cheese on top, on top like we're doing now, and let it crisp up. You just put crust. it on broil and it just gets crust. a nice yes. crust. And it just starts to bubble and mm -hmm. just looks really good. And we have right here a finished mac and cheese. Ooh, that looks right there. Yes, she has that sure nice does. crust on top. And that and golden crust. Delicious. So I'm going to put it and in so the oven. So we put it back in the oven after what? The top 375. For about 30 minutes first, then you sprinkle the cheese on top, and then you get that crust for 30 minutes. So should we just so while this that a is, over oh, here, we're going to wait. We're no, going to enjoy wait that, that Kim. at the big slow table. Slow down. Slow so down. So now, all right, all right. while the all mac right. and cheese is baking. We're gonna make some collard greens. Some right collard now. greens. Some smoking mm. collard greens. Now Where collard greens are also. That's it also very good for you, right, Ty? What are some good benefits? Yes, it is. Ty collard Kim? greens, collard Let's greens. Let's make some collard greens because mean collard greens. greens are good for you. They have a lots of vitamins. Mm -hmm. And we'll get the cutting Back board. Protein and calcium. That's right, lots of calcium. Fiber. So let's get the cutting board. And we are just gonna, let's get this out of the way, Kim. We can put that in the back. And we are going to chop up some collard greens. And move this to the back. To go right with that mac and cheese. That's right. Okay, you can't have it's, mac and it's, cheese it's without the collard almost, greens. It's right, it kind of goes together. You know, when you talk about soul food, you say, I love mac and, <laughs> and cheese, cheese and, and with my collard, collard greens. greens. <laughs> Don't forget the cornbread. All right. That's All right. right. So we're going to read, what's the ingredients, Kim, for the collard greens? Two pounds of collard green chopped, one small yellow onion diced, one tablespoon of olive oil, two to three cups of water, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of liquid smoked hickory, and one teaspoon of salt. All right, let's okay. get these collard greens right. sizzling Ooh. on our fire. That's smell right. that so oak flavor. We, can, we have the onions already cut up. Okay. Let's put the onions, put a little bit of olive oil in that pan. All right. And get the onions. We're just gonna simmer the onions for a little bit just to get them soft and tender. I'll let the oil get That's all right, get them. Good. Okay, you can pour the onions all in right, there. Good. Now collard greens come with a long stem and we've already washed them nicely. You have to wash them leaf by leaf. And then you pop the stems off, toss them to the side. Now, of course, Kim would throw them in a smoothie. That's but, right. Uh, the stems. You and find and the, the stems are very good for you. That's they right. go very in well a in, a, in a smoothie. smoothie. Bag. Okay, but, um, so we already cut off the stems. Now, there's a technique to cutting our collard greens. Oh. You want to take the biggest leaf and place it on the bottom. So let's have, this leaf is pretty big. So see, we have different sized leaves. Mm -hmm. But you want to take the bigger one, put it on the bottom and you kind of just stack them together, just like that, and we roll them nice and tight. Roll, roll. We roll our greens nice and tight. That's right. Nice and tight, all right. Okay. And we roll, and then we just mm. slice. And then we slice. We give them nice, thin slices. There you go, look at that. Okay. Right, keep going. And we give them nice, thin slices. Just like that. I'm going to mix the onions around a little bit. And then put the we keep, on. this is going to be tossed with our onions. So you just kind of like saute them you down saute with the onions? The onions. Or? Are they nice and soft already? Mm. Ready for Still some greens to go in? Still okay. Coming. So I'm remember, you just this keep food. it Y'all tightly rolled. Over here. That's right. Working hard, working up an appetite. Work hard, it's work sure up that appetite. Smelling good. That mac and cheese going on. We're gonna, it's gonna all pay off. Woo! It's smelling good back <laughs> there. All right. Woo. So we cut them. 
I can't wait to eat it. And then, do you want me to start? Let's start placing them. We'll just okay. Put right on, right down, on with the onions and I'm mix them the up. Sizzle. Here you go. Just get them stirred. Come on, toss them around. Toss them with the green. Get the onions. Right. Oh yeah, and I'll keep slicing and toss them around. And like we said, collard greens are very hardy. They can grow straight through the winter, oh, yeah, so you can absolutely. have them. Jim, in our, all in your our seasons. home garden, we always oh, like, yes. like we always have collard, collard greens and kale, and kale and like takes up the one whole side. Right. No, you see those stalks sticking that's right, right up. They're gonna just stick praising up. the Lord. See, I'm just <laughs> waiting for spring to come, and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, but it's, so it's, we're gonna you you just continue to stir them around, and we'll add a little water. Now the water, you just pour in the water slowly. Okay. Is the fire nice and high? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll put it high. Okay, just a little bit of water. And you All can right, just, just add little. water uh -huh. a little bit at a time, depending on your pot. I don't like to add and too much water. And then we cover it, right? You so that it works it. up a yes. nice steam. You and need a nice steam. And then let's put the let's salt put in this, the smoke yes, at the end of it. Yes, let's put this in. Okay, so we'll have just, it nice and hot. Okay. Okay, so I think it's coming on up there. And so now after a while, you have to let it steam and steam up for a good ten minutes. Let yeah. it simmer. Then you add your salt. Let's. Okay, we're gonna imagine that we see steam. <laughs> and we'll add our salt and our hickory and, and our hickory smell. liquid. Oh, cover that up and you let it steam Ooh, for a I good love that thirty smoke minutes. Smell. And it's just gonna cook Let's down, and we have a finished product. collard green product right yeah. here. Nice, nice and green. Nice and smoky, smoke Bean flavored. Greens. Collard greens. Collard greens. And I just love the versity, you know, the versatility of collard greens. That's right. You can make collard green rolls. That's right. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful recipe. We have a collard recipe green rolls. That's right. And collard greens can be eaten raw. That's right. As a salad. Steamed. You can cut them up as a salad. They can be eaten steamed. They can or we can juice have them. We can juice That's them. Right. And That's you right. Do not waste any part of your collard greens. That's the right. stem, just Make sure they're washed well, mm -hmm. and you can do. You can eat them, juice, juice them, it. and maybe wear them. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. We'll figure that out. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll check. All right. It. But now that we have shown you how to eat it, it's time to juice, juice it. it. And now it's time to. Juice it. All right now, so what's the juice today, Jen? Uh, Ty, Ty, why are you jumping? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm excited why about the juice. Okay. We all get excited. Oh, all right, y'all should be jumping too. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't, okay. All right, our juice today is pina colada. Pina, so y'all wonder why? why? Were you jumping? Why am I oh. pina colada? Let me catch my breath. <laughs> I mean, we know pina colada is good, but. <laughs> jumping yeah. jacks. Well, listen up, listen up. Okay. All right. Bye. A little tidbit for you here, because pina colada is made with what? Pineapple, coconut, and coconut. There you go. Right. Coconut. Right. Coconut. And guess what? Coconut is a great substitute for water after a workout because it's been found to offer the same hydration as leading Eating. sports Ooh. streaks. That's right. Minus some of the calories and mm -hmm. sugars. Okay. Coconut. And yeah, coconut. So this, Coconut, coconut, coconut made you do water. some jumping jacks. Yeah, girl, I'm, I'm working hard for my food. All and right, my all right. Y'all should be <laughs> jumping too. So, our smoothie today is pineapple, right? Pina colada. Pina, oh, okay. Right. So let's, right. let's talk about some of the things that um, are good about pineapple, right? I always get excited when I talk about well, pina colada because I love pineapple. I love, I love pineapple. And when I think of I pina like pineapple colada, cold. I think of the beach, but now I think of jumping jacks oh. <laughs> of the coconut. And because I like to move and I'm always moving, it is a natural hydration for my skin, right? Okay. okay. So, so you this jump. smoothie you has pineapple, which boosts the immune system, and a ton of vitamin C. Mm, okay. All right, so so y'all. That's, that's, that's the reason time. to jump. Yes, that's the yes. reason to jump. All right, so let's tell us the ingredients, Jan. The ingredients are a half a cup unsweetened almond milk, half a cup of coconut water, half a cup of frozen pineapple, one teaspoon of honey, one tablespoon of shredded coconut, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
Are you still jumping over here, Ty? I'm still jumping. All right. I let it well, what, 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 what are you going to do after on. the smoothie? Woo! I'm going to hydrate myself. <laughs> OK. So let's make guess what's going. When you get your smoothie, you'll Woo! feel good. That's right. Huh? Let's get it going. Cool. I love good. some pina colada. Yes, I do. So OK, let's put so it we on. put the pineapples Coconut in. Milk. I tell you, with some pina colada, I just want to be on the beach in the sand. You want to jump up and down. Girl. I just want to relax and watch the waves <laughs> with my pina colada, you know? Let's put in our honey. All right, a little. You know, working on the floor as a nurse, you know, going between six or seven patients, yeah, you sometimes it energy. feels like that. You know, you're running down this way with the well, going back oh, this way with the boy. well. So I need to be hydrated at all times. So let's give that a whiz. Okay, did we put the ice in already? Yeah, we put it okay, in. Okay, let's go. In. Okay. All right, nice. There we go. I can't Ooh, wait. Smooth and creamy. So you know the pineapple now. just adds an extra treat to the to the uh, coconut right. water. You know. Kimmy, bring All your right. cup. Kim. Fill it up. We're ready to jump. All right. Okay. okay. You're ready, ready to jump. To jump. Yeah. That's okay. right. That's what I want to hear. Know. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Mmm. 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 Mm. Good. good. Woo! So refreshing. Oh, man. Really good. Mm. Well, thanks, Ty, for sharing this, this pina colada. Good. So you ready to jump, Jim? Yeah. All right, jump. I think I'll oh. jump when I'm done. You jump for me, because <laughs> I'm all jumped out. <laughs> but I'm staying nice, and I'm going to get rehydrated with this wonderful mm. pina, pina colada. colada. Woo! So, so what's, what's next? next, ladies? What's next? What's it's next? time to wear it. it. It's time to wear, wear it. it. All right, so what are we wearing today, Kim? Well, audience, family, we are wearing coconut oil. Now, let's look at... Is it a mask or is it a moisture? Like, what are we doing with it? Are we putting it well, on our face? we're wearing coconut oil today as a moisturizer. Oh, Ooh, on your hands. So hand. just dab a little on your hands. Right, let me get okay. some of this. My nice hands are and... dry. Now, coconut Ooh. oil is excellent for very dry skin. It's just a very excellent moisturizer. Wow, you can put it in your bath. You can put it on your children. You can put it on your face. You can put it in your hair. You can put it it's everywhere. Like you're putting yeah. it on our hands. So like, I wow. use it at home as a lotion. It's a great. Um, so we spend so much money on wrinkle cream. Yes, Ooh, yeah. feels coconut oil is excellent to prevent wrinkles. And just pure coconut oil. Just pure else? coconut. You don't have. You, wow. Now you can add other things like shea butter, olive oil, if you'd like to. But you can basically use. Simple coconut oil, which I like to use mm, with my boys, good. and they go to school smelling wonderful. Mm. Oh, wow. As well as looking wow. moisturized. So nice and bright. We all do. Like, nice and bright, nice and yes. Soft. Since it hydrates, and it's very soft, and it, it hydrates, hydrates your skin. The skin. Yes, it does. Wow. That's yeah. why it brings mm -hmm. nice. Mo so, can we you also wear it in our hair? hair? Can yes, you, like you can put it in your hair. It's very moisturizing moist to your hair. Like a conditioner? It, as a conditioner, Just yes. Just straight so, coconut? So basically, once you wet your hair, mm -hmm. you would warm the oil mm -hmm. and you would just slather it all over your Maybe hair like, like you're a using cap. conditioner, shampoo. Like a heating cap. Oh, and you put on, a, put on a heating cap, a mm -hmm. plastic bag, mm -hmm. and just wear it around for an hour or more. So, so that's like a deep oh, heat wow. A deep, deep conditioning treatment. Okay. And then oh. you just rinse it out and your hair will be just wow. beautiful. Wow. So we can do Very so much, much with you just this so much nice with skin. coconut oil. Especially after that, that uh, workout that I <laughs> Oh, yes. I feel so. hydrated inside and now outside. So this is wonderful. And I mean, we can eat this that's wondrous right. food. Oh, that's right. We can choose this it. wondrous food. And we, and we can, can wear it. Oh, oh this thank wondrous you, God. Here's Herman coming Ooh, on. I, I tell you. song coming on. And <laughs> my soul my soul. <laughs> with all this soul with food, soul I just want to say thank you. Thank Ooh, you, Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. For this wondrous food, we thank you. Yes, and give you With good food, with, with good food today. Woo! Woo! Yes. Hallelujah! So 
such an appetite. I know we're wearing it. Uh, but we had to sing about it. We had to sing about because it. soul food will it make you sing. sing. Woo, it'll make you pick them up and Woo. put them down, girl. <laughs> Let's go dig into that food. Oh, yes. It's time, it's time to, to eat. It's time to go. Enjoy mm -hmm. it. Yes. Woo, girls. Ooh. Work me up and appetite, Soul sisters, we have Soul work up an appetite in that kitchen. Yes. You know, up in the kitchen today. I love the memories that we've created just sitting at the table eating mm -hmm. soul food. Just, mm -hmm. I mean, do you, do you remember the first Thanksgiving when we I stayed can. up all night? How old were we? I think we, we were, were like 14 or teenagers. Teenagers. Yeah. teenagers. We were in high school. And we stayed up all night. All and we, night. And we made some mac and cheese. We sure did. Some sweet Ooh, potatoes. Oh, my. Collard that got some veggie chicken, yes. mac and cheese, and, and woo, collard greens. Well, Y'all reminisce. But woo. you know, at the dinner delicious. table, it is, I mean, we make memories and we just have mm -hmm. so much fun. You know, we have dinner for everything. It's my birthday. Yes. Dinner. Dinner at your house. I made the honor roll. Dinner, dinner at your, your house. <laughs> it's my anniversary. Dinner, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dinner, such a dinner great time, time. <laughs> you know, just to reminisce as a family, yeah. just enjoy one yes, another, yes. you know. Mm. So we've enjoyed this mm. time, good, and we've worked up an appetite, and it is I time to eat this food. Mm. Mm. Well, I've tried the mac and cheese. Mm. And just let me know tell you, that we serve a God who wants our heart. He wants our, our mind, mind. He, he wants, wants our, our body and, and our soul. soul. So know that all that you do, do, do it all to, to the, the glory of God. God. I like healthy food that tastes so good. I like to eat good food. What you say now? I like to eat good food. I like to eat good food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so God, let's, let's keep on eating. This is delicious. Home.